Welcome back to the Football Terrace. Hit like buttons, subscribe, turn on the bell notification button as well. Check out our sponsors, Brickhouse Nutrition now. Scan the QR code on the screen. Get that done. Let's start this show, though, with a little bit of Saeed from the brilliant Saeed TV. Hey! <laughs> Listen, you know what's mad, yeah? Liverpool fans are messaging me saying, why isn't Elliot starting? Why isn't... Um... What's his name? You're the other one? <laughs> Curtis Jones. Brother, let me tell you something, Liverpool fans. He's not better than Colby Mainu, yeah? Listen, there's levels to this, yeah? Man like Elliot is still doing trials in the under-21s, yeah? How about that? Curtis Jones, take time. You know that one's there. But you Liverpool fans that think, oh, but what about our players? Nobody cares. Because you know what? Colby Mainu's here. You know what? Big up Saeed. Look, Kobe Mainu last night was was sensational for England. For an 18-year-old with uh, 20, 21, 22 first team game experience, to go into a, a international match against a top 10 ranked team, dominate the midfield, play about with Belgium at times the way he did, shows the level of quality he possesses. There's a long way for Mainu to go. A lot of hard work ahead for this young man. But the whole nation of England, if you're an England fan, should be excited. Man United fans should be excited. Of course, he's got to keep his feet on the floor, but there's reason to be excited. But the main new hate starts now. I've already seen it with people fuming that he got the man of the match, fuming that he's in the England team ahead of Ross Barkley and Elliot and other players. You are going to look now, you will now see everybody overanalyzing every little thing that he does, any misplaced pass, any tackle that doesn't come off, any chance that he doesn't score is going to be overanalyzed to within, within an inch of his life, your life, my life, everybody's life. The hate for Mainu starts now. The media are still on their build-up period. Give it another six months, another 12 months, and they'll start the knockdown period on him. There's no doubt about it. But the only reason it's happening is because he's absolute sheer class, sheer quality. And I think deep down inside, everybody, absolutely everybody knows, everybody knows exactly how good this man is. Oh, 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 oh. I don't think anyone in the England camp would have taken him lightly last night whatsoever. But uh, oh, and and even though England dom dominated the bullshit, man, they... Uh, they still look very dangerous in the goal. The second goal, I mean, the ball from Lukaku was unbelievable for yeah. Tiedemann's. That I, was I, I thought that was, it must have been the passing. Oh, definitely. Uh, outside the left foot, absolutely yeah, taking the goalkeeper good, yeah. and behind the brilliant ball. Yeah. Absolutely brilliant ball. I, I don't think they would underestimate him at all. Siobhan, I just think, um, I'll be honest here, it was interesting to see the reaction when the goal went in because mm. you could see it meant a lot to certainly Bellingham, certainly meant a lot to Southgate as well. Yeah. Because it kind of, it probably saved them a little bit of hassle in the post-match yeah. press yeah, conferences, right. to be honest with you. I, I, I don't think Shaban, it was a, and that's coming from a Scotsman, it's just what she said, mm -hmm. you know, lose five goals in two games and not score. I, I'm effectively not overly concerned no. about okay. either performances from England or Scotland. Do, do you know what's interesting about that? The, the media's PR surrounding England and Southgate is, is the worrying factor for me because they're burying their heads in the sand. Before we go into this in more detail, though, remember, we are sponsored by Brickhouse Nutrition. Get onto their website now. Pure organic superfood supplements. This stuff is absolutely amazing. It's suitable for you, your children, your family. It's a great way of getting additional nutrition into your body that's good for your organs, that's very good for your heart, and that keeps you healthy day in, day out. And unlike a lot of companies that supply you with you know, you might, you know, might be, I'm not going to name the companies, but you know, what I mean, the chocolate flavored this and the cookie cream and flavored that, and we're going to build your muscles and we're high in protein. That stuff is full of absolute crap. It's full of absolute nonsense, additives, E numbers, sugars, all sorts of nonsense goes into that. Inside Brickhouse Nutrition, this is the pot here, everything. And the one I'm drinking at the minute has got, I'm going to read it to you. Uh, parsley, kale, Wheatgrass, apple, this one here, broccoli, strawberry, cherry, uh, lemon. What else we got in here? We've got green tea. All of it is organic. Nothing in here 
is it's got any chemicals in it, anything at all. It's amazing. You literally add it to water, comes with a little mixer like this, this is what I use it. You just shake up. And honestly, I heat, I'm eating very healthy at the moment anyway, but this is just a great way to supplement that to get more nutrition and more goodness into your bodies. Go and check it out now. You get a 15% discount using promo code SQUAD. Just put in SQUAD when you're buying it and free shipping courtesy of me. Scan the QR code or click the link below. Check it out. I'm, well, that would change your life. Genuinely, I sleep better. I feel better. got more energy. I just feel amazing. Part of that's my diet. I'm not going to lie, but this is such a great supplement alongside it. Just add it to some water and you're good to go. Now, back to what we're talking about here. And what really frustrates me is how Southgate is sort of protected all the time. We got the draw yesterday. Yes, we dominated the ball in large parts. But as I said last night, and I get called out, I get called a clickbaiter for this and I don't quite understand it. I call out the manager because I don't think he's good enough. My title of my video reflects what I said in the video, and you still get called a clickbait. You still get, oh, you just, you just got an anti Southgate agenda. Yeah, I do. Because the reason why I'm concerned about last night, the reason I'm concerned about the Brazil game, is that these perform performances against the top teams, whether it's in friendlies, qualifiers, nation leagues, or tournaments, invariably we end up the losers. Therefore, we're not going to win. And I want to, at the very least, feel like we have the best chance possible of winning. And this, for me, completely and utterly takes it away. And the way the media protects Southgate, personally, it's it, it's just a nonsense. It's dead. Really feel I have it. said it before. Yes. Go on, I've said it before, but this time, I honestly think if you had a world eleven. You'll have six England players in it all day long. Who's those, bo who's those well, players for you? I'm sure well, you put yourself well, in the right me, position there. Bellingham, <laughs> Bellingham is a Dan with pace all day. Like Bellingham is a. I loved you, Bellingham. But he is so different from Zinedine Zidane. The, I mean, this England fan sounds, sounds like he's had a few sherbets, which is understandable. It's a football day. But Bellingham, Zidane, he's not. I don't, I don't look at him and see a Zidane. And who are these six players of England that would get into the World Eleven? Genuinely, I, I I hope he names them. Who who are they? Genuinely, he's probably new Maru now. Now, wow, the other two are retiring. Yeah, but Sean, you said Sean is the Dan. Is the Dan with pace? Sean, come on, Sean, come on, well, Sean. Well, I love well, Bellingham, well, and he's he's, he's a he's, young he's, boy. He's coming up. He's the best player of Real Madrid, is he not? Yeah, but that don't mean that don't mean he's on Zidane's level, geez. Well, why not? Sean, why, not? <laughs> why not? That's why I don't like the argument that world class means you're in the top three in your position in the world. Because the top three right backs today, none of them may be as good as the guy that was 10 15 years ago. So, therefore, that argument is flawed. And you've seen that here in real time, right? I don't necessarily think he's Madrid's best player either. I think Vinicius uh, Jr. has a big saying that as an example, but that's just me. Oh, oh, Sean, God, here's, here's the problem you've got. You've said six England players. Now, <laughs> go you send know, me as soon as you one. say numbers, here's <laughs> what Harry Coley's going to do. Harry let's go Kane, Let's go, Let's go. go for Kane. number two. So you've got Bellingham. Okay. Who else? Uh, and I write a list yeah, Harry, Kane. Right. Harry Kane. Okay. Yeah. I mean, you could argue Harry Kane. I mean, as a centre forward, a number nine, who are the better number nines in the world than Harry Kane right now? Genuine question. You could argue Erling Haaland. You could, but I don't think overall he's as good a footballer. But that's about it, right? Maybe I'm missing someone. You might want to throw that in. Okay, three. So, Bearing the bottom with Chelsea, fan, yeah? Yeah, I, I hear yeah. Three. Yeah. yeah. Kane yeah. and Bellingham. Walker, Walker all day long. Okay, yeah. Okay, yeah. Carl Walker, best right back in the world right now. Viewers, let me know what you think. Yeah, he's getting himself out of this hole. Yeah, go on. Keep going, Shawnee. Um, as soon as he says, I'm not. He's stuck now, isn't he? That's it. You're, no, no. You're, you're, no, 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 it ain't it. No, it's, no. Not, it's not over yet. Um, but, 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 sorry, the left foot for man set you just... You don't even know his Foden. name, please. You don't even know, Foden. 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 know his name. Let's see, look, Phil Foden now. Again, see, Foden last night was playing on the left. That means you're putting him above Vinicius Jr. as an example. I often see Mbappe start on the left for France. Hmm. No, no, he, know, he knows what he's talking about. 
Foden. No, Foden. Left yeah. footed also. Yeah. He gets yeah. in the World England team. Uh, world, world. T- well, just saying, just showing his opinion. Saka, name me a better winger than Saka. Saka, OK. Just showing here's what you've done. You've wow. done very well. Wow. You've got to five. Thank all right? you. Right? Yeah. But you said Cole six. Carl Palmer's a good nugget, let uh, me tell you. Carl Palmer. See, he's done now. He's, he's had a few shirts. And listen, I'm a big... I, I love England. I love my country on a sporting level most of the time. Um... But again, six into the world, I think that's a little bit too much. You know, I think that's that there is a little bit of overhype in, in that regard. I'm going to call, pull that one down. Slow down a little bit, my friend. Just slow down. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Uh, man City, you throw in there. They're not a big club. Are, are Arsenal a big club? What are your definitions of big club? Because well, some would say success, some I think, would say fans. I think this is going to rock off in the comments um, because, you know, what is a big club? I don't think there's any any doubt that Liverpool, Manchester United, Real Madrid, Barcelona, Bayern Munich, AC Milan, there are others, are big clubs. No, I'd say, no, I, I think we need to get to new categories because what I'd say they are... are Super clubs. Yes, giant clubs. Mm. And, and the, But why are they? History history um Fans. longevity yeah which is different to history uh because history could be i did that with her in 1989 whereas longevity would be i did that in 99 all the way through the 90s you know that's longevity yeah um could be him as well you know yeah or, or whatever else and i think fan base is is a big thing yeah you know you've got to look at that although those numbers can be manipulated um success is important but there are levels to that the reason man city is not a big club to me is because on paper winning loads of things fair play their revenue is massive so they must have a load of fans they've got a big stadium they've got a great manager they've got uh, a style of football and a, and a history of that style of football in recent times but i just don't think they have respect or into you've got I, oh this is a big one for me as well respect an arsenal fan can't tell us they're a big club basically i think to be a big club it's got to be universally understood, even if people don't like saying it. Like, well, what do you make of that? What do you make of that? Now, I know City fans are not going to like it. I, I probably think Arsenal fans are not going to like it. Arsenal don't sit on the same table, in my opinion, as Real Madrid's, Man United's, Liverpool's, Barcelona's, Bayern Munich's. And I think most Arsenal fans would accept that. What City have achieved in the last few years put some, uh, on that level, put some near. But I understand the point that there isn't universal ex- acceptance of City, even on the continent, not just amongst rivals within England, but on the continent, there is not a universal acceptance of that. What is it that makes a big club? And do we have to look at new categories where you've got the super clubs, the giant clubs, then you've got the big clubs, then you've got the medium club? How do you look at it? Is Goldbridge being salty here? Is Goldbridge being harsh? Is he just... Uh, slamming City for no reason or do you think he's talking sense? I'd love to understand what the football terrorist community thinks about that leave us your comments below make sure you're subscribing to the channel and as I've said, check out Brickhouse Nutrition They, by the way, their product comes with a guarantee and what they told me as a guarantee is this if I visit my doctor for my checkup let's just say I go for a checkup in, in December say you go six months later, their guarantee is, if you are drinking their product daily for that three months, that six month period. When you revisit your doctor, your doctor will tell you, you are looking healthier. You are looking sharper. Your skin is better. Your nails are stronger. Your hair is thicker because you are getting the right level of nutrients into your diet. Even if you don't have the best diet in the world, you know, even if you're eating a bit of processed foods, even if you're eating a hamburger here and there, even if you're having a little drink at the weekends, Getting the right nutrition nutrition into your body is key. So check out Brickhouse Nutrition now. Get yourself some of their products. They're absolutely amazing. And it's filled of greens. Filled of greens is the product that you want. This stuff is their pure organic range. Get it done. Until next time, take care. Goodbye. God bless. And I'll see you all again soon. Peace.